Oh no! Resurface road. Ugh. My mortal enemy. No. Oh, go on, cover me in dust. Yeah, you bastard. <laughs> Mate, what are you doing? Wake up! <laughs> Alright guys, let's stop for a... a little bite to eat and a drink. It's not too busy, there's a few people here, but it's not... It's not ridiculously busy. Some dogs playing. We'll head back a different way, we'll go back this way. So you've got a few bikers around. Nothing major. Such a nice little village. And that was perfect then, there's only about 10 bikers there. Lovely, but when you get like 100 turn up, people flying through the little high street there, it's just, just embarrassing. It just gives us a bad name. Just idiots. What's wrong with people? I have no idea. Weird. Anyway, I'll go back this way. This road, I've been down a couple of times before, so I do know it more than the other way. Some nice little stretches of road. Stones on the road here as well from that driveway. It just the rain's washed crap onto the road. It's sort of cleaned the roads, but put other shite on them as well. So to be careful. old Essex countryside, it's very pretty, lovely. Right guys, any more news? Uh, my dirt bike has hit 40 hours, it's going for a service in about a month's time to Jermaine, I haven't, I haven't had time to take it there. I won't ride it much for a couple of months, we've got Wales hopefully in September, that's the plan if we're allowed to go to the barn, uh, I, I don't know, who knows, but it's still booked. So uh, we'll see, fingers crossed. And any of you guys that have been following my e-bike adventures, I put a link to the last video uh, we did at Cannock Chase, it's a little bike park. And we, uh, we'd never been there before, it was hilarious. We didn't know what we were doing, we're just learning jumps and stuff. We're nearly 50 years old. Someone said, oh, you can't uh, jump for toffee and all this stuff. I'm like, I don't give a shit, mate. I'm out having fun on my mountain bike. You know, if I go over a jump and I case it and I hit the sort of top or the edge of the jump, go, I don't care. It doesn't matter. It's funny. But we went again the other week and we got the hang of it and we were flying over the jumps and doing a lot, lot better. So I love the learning curve. It's brilliant. It's, it's great fun. So, yeah, people are always out to criticise other people and just put them down. It's just... But it doesn't affect me, it's funny, I laugh. I said to the bloke that said that, I said, right, well, meet, meet us there next week and you, we'll follow you round and you can show us how it's done. And he went all quiet and then suddenly he sent a really nice reply back. <laughs> People are just weird. Oh, dear. But if I was young, I'd get really aggressive and angry towards people like that and, you know, really vicious. But I'm too old to get like that. It doesn't matter. I make these videos for a laugh. I don't make it make them for the money. It's not my job. It's just a, it's just a pastime. Did that bloke even look on that motorbike then, or did he just pull out in front of me? I don't know. What the hell are you doing, mate? What are you doing? Wake up! I think. Uh, yep, yeah, we go right. Oh no! Resurface road. 
my mortal enemy. No. Oh my God, there's a, the stones in the middle are totally loose. I'm gonna just take this so steady, so slow. Stones flying up everywhere. So annoying. Why do they do this in this country? The council's so tight that they won't pay to have proper tarmac put down. Oh my God, this shitty stuff. Ah, oh, it's just ridiculous. Loose stones and then, ah, oh, it's just, it's crap. Get a grip, council, bloody hell. I won't be coming this way to Finchin Field for a while. This needs about a month to for this road to sort itself out. Got a pile of stones in the middle. So annoying. I don't know if there's any other countries in the world, I'm sure there are some, that put this shit down on the roads. <laughs> Most other countries with any common sense would uh, just, just tarmac them. No. Our country decides to not do that and do the cheap version. Saying that, I don't actually know for sure that this is actually cheaper than tarmac. I don't know. Look, they can't even get the road right then. There's all bumps and holes in it. <laughs> Hilarious. You know, this might cost the same as tarmac. I have no idea. I'm sure someone can tell me. But I just think this stuff's crap. Just trying to ride in my little track here so that I'm not flicking stones up all over my bike. Oh my God, how long does this go on for? I found a little smooth bit to ride in, but there's still stones on it. Oh, I've sold my uh, specialized Levo Turbo and I've now got a new bike, which is coming in about a week's time. I will do a, video, a separate video on that. I don't want to keep talking about that in this video because I guess you guys that have clicked on the link to this video uh watching this because of the i'm on the super duke not because i'm talking about e-bikes so i will stop talking about e-bikes and talk about my KTM super duke guys yeah i'm not sure if there's any more of these bikes in the uk the 2019 super duke cars there might be some i'm not sure but anyone with twelve thousand pounds to spend and wants a naked bike then i don't think you can do much better than this you know for 12 grand it's bloody amazing so check out uh, Kestrel KTM in Coventry. They might have some left. Speak to Jordan. He was who I dealt with when I got this bike. He might have some in, uh, in storage. I'm not sure. You know, I don't, I don't know how well the new one's selling. I guess the new uh, Super Duke. There's not been many people do a big road test of, of the latest model of this, the 2020 bike. When my bike goes in for a service, I've requested... Uh, a 2020 model as my loan bike but whether they've got one or we'll have one in three weeks time i i have no idea i don't know so that'd be my first ride out on it so looking forward to that yeah and ratman my buddy he's got the same bike as me i'll put a picture of our two bikes together if you haven't seen them together they're exactly the same but he's fitted an austin racing exhaust pipe to his which, as I said, I've got something in the pipeline, no pun intended, for this bike. It's Farmer Giles. But I'm not going for it yet. I'll wait till it's had its first service and then I'll uh, decide what I'm going to do about the pipe. I'll see. But yeah, his pipe, his bike sounds amazing with that pipe, the Austin Racing pipe. It's just, oh, it's incredible. Oh, go on, cover me in dust. Yeah, you bastard. <laughs> <coughs> oh. Brilliant. Awesome. Right, let's just get off this freaking road. Oh my God, look, it's just loose gravel. Whoa, wheel spin on the gravel, awesome. Right, let's hit a nice, ah, oh, so nice to get back on a normal road. Oh, it feels so good. Oh, brilliant. Ah, the proper road. Lovely. That's better. Yeehaw. Right, there's no 
know why I'm riding back that way. I have to do Finchinfield, I have to do it the same road in and the same road out. I'm not going back down, coming back down that road, no way. So guys, yeah, these mirrors, they don't vibrate any more than the standard ones. At certain revs, they're quite vibey, but this is such a vibey bike. But to be fair, it doesn't vibrate that much through the handlebars or through the foot pegs. It does sound good with this standard pipe, it just looks hideous. So that's what I'm going to be changing. The end can. You just want to throw back gently and you just goes ballistic. But obviously I'm still running it in so I'm just taking it easy, not giving it much. I do, I've revved it to sort of eight, nine thousand now and again, it just doesn't do any harm. <laughs> what a bike. bloody blind corners on this road. There's also some nice corners like that. Road ahead closed. Ugh. Not sure which way I've even got to go. Looks like it's open to me. Yeah. Quarantine area. Oh, shoving re weird roadworks in the road. All of a sudden you come in a corner and there's a bloody... Uh, Ah, that's what I'm digging it all up here, look. Oh, it's just great to be out on the bike in the good old English countryside. I can't beat it. Well, you can. There's a lot of places in the world that are a bit nicer to ride than this, but this is my local area. And I'm happy to, uh, yeah, it's just nice to be out on my bike in the sunshine. But, God, oh, that house is really old back there. It's ancient. Oh, that new thatch roof looks lovely. Look at that. Lovely house. Good old thatch. You can't beat it. Lovely. out the way coming through I think I know where I am roughly what where I'm heading to anyway even if I don't know this road I normally turn left back there but ah uh, poppy field it's amazing absolutely amazing don't know if you saw that looks absolutely stunning. Not often you see a field of poppies in this uh, this part of the UK. Right. We're going this way. <laughs> As I said, I don't know where I'm going. Oh, I reckon, yeah, I know where we are. I recognise that pub. I know where we are. Right, I think. 
Yeah, straight on here is the best bet. It's not too many flies around. I've got a, uh, I've got a cloth in my rucksack. I covered it in uh, glass cleaner, and I put it in a little freezer bag. So, because I couldn't find my little helmet spray uh, visor cleaner stuff. So I just thought, oh, I'll just shove a, a wet rag in a bag. It's better than nothing. Oh my God, this is such a torque monster. Mental. See, again, the quick shifter was quite jerky in the fifth. So I wasn't high up in the rev range, obviously I'm running in, so I'm being a bit careful, but... Yeah, get it running, I can give it a few more beans then. But the torque on this is, is bonkers. I guess after about six to 8,000, this probably runs out of steam a little bit. Whereas a bike like the uh, Street Fighter, you know, that, that only gets going at uh, probably about, I don't know. Let's go over this horrible junction. Oh, no, I've got a van in front now. Typical, not for long. Right. Ah, it's gone dark. Someone's turned the lights off. Yeah, to me, a bike like this, a naked bike, you know, I want power low down. I could just wind on the throttle, fourth gear. Whoa! It just goes mad. Actually crazy. So talky. You know, I bet the new one's even more talky. Low down than this. But I don't want power high up in the rev range. You know, I want it low down. like this you just want to just you know fourth gear let's wind it back it's just awesome I don't want to be going much faster than this oh right where are we going not that way no keep on going Down. It does feel pretty agricultural compared to the Street Fighter S. That feels like a high-tech weapon. Like a that feels like a, a really sharp sort of surgical knife. Like a scalpel, perhaps, or something like that. Well this feels I don't know, this feels more like a, a bit of a blunt bread knife. Where it does it does the job it's supposed to do. Well, where the hell are we? I think I know where we are. I think, I think we go right here. A bit lost now. Oh, it doesn't matter. It's all part of the fun. So yeah, that this does the job it's supposed to do, but in a different way compared to the V4 Street Fighter. This just feels like, yeah, I can't really explain it. Comparing this to, this to a bread knife and the V4 Street Fighter to a scalpel is probably not the, quite the right way to do it, but you probably get what I'm trying to say. So yeah, my bro's new bike, if he does get it, I'll be able to do a head-to-head -head shootout between that and this. It's just so nice, the weather's this good. It's just uh, it's awesome, absolutely awesome. One thing I'm still waiting for is my seat cowl that goes over the rear uh, passenger seat. It's uh, it's black, but I might spray it white. I'm not 100% sure. I've, I've even got a sticker kit for it, a white sticker kit 
to go over the black uh, seat cow. So I might see what that looks like. That looks rubbish because the white is different to the white of the tank. I'll get my mate Daz to spray the seat cow white and then I'll put some uh, probably black or orange stripes on it and make it look nice. If it looks crap, then uh, yeah, I'll just have it white. More hen, run! Run, run, run! God, I've never had so many animals run out in front of me. Uh, the buzzard nearly hit me in the head. A hare, a squirrel, pigeon, partridges, moorhen, rabbit, everything. I've never ever been out here before. But the roads are nice. And what I do on my ride outs like this, I'm looking out for by uh, byways to come out and ride the dirt bike down. Whoa, narrow, narrow. Yeah, you do not want to come hooning around here, that's for sure, in a rush. Oh, what a lovely road. Ah, oh, superb. What's that way? Ah oh, no, I think I've come around the big circle. I think I've got to go back that way. I did a little brake test now and again. I'm just trying to sort those discs out and I don't know what's on them that's making them a bit rough when I'm doing very, very low speed braking. I'm not sure what it is. Oh well, they look at it when it has a service. And the back brake on these is crap, I'm not gonna lie. When I rode the Street Fighter V4, the back brake was insane. Touched it, bloody locked up. Well, the ABS kicked in. So sharp. This is just poo. No, I press it as hard as I can, and it hardly even stop. I know it's a small disc at the back, but I've had some bikes that have had really good back brake. They might need to adjust this, perhaps, for me. But, yeah, I don't rely on the back brake on the road at all. When I'm in town sometimes I'll use it, you know, through traffic and stuff. Just weaving my way through traffic filtering. I'll just have my foot on the back brake and that, that works quite well, but apart from that I don't really use it to be fair. Right guys, time to head home. I hope you enjoyed the vid. Just me chatting complete nonsense as usual, but I thought I'd bring you along for the ride. I'll come back out on it within a week and I'll do another video. But any questions, drop them in the comments below and I'll answer them as best I can. Anyway, all right guys, take it easy and I'll see you next time. Cheers.
Look. So much better, I know, there's no grip in this water, look. 